The Trump administration has approved the sale of 66 F-16 fighters to Taiwan. The approval of the sale comes as the US and China are embroiled in bitterly fought trade negotiations. As per the State Department, Taiwan will get the latest version of the Lockheed Martin-built fighter, the F-16 Block 70. The deal is expected to be of around $8 billion. Taiwan wanted to have the jets amid increasing Chinese military incursions into its airspace. The move is expected to greatly enhance the air power of Taiwan and invoke strong reactions from Beijing. It's important to note that Taiwan already has a fleet of old model F-16s acquired in 1992, and these have gone through several upgrades. In this video, Defense Updates reports on the American decision on the sale of 66 F-16 fighters to Taiwan. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by the free-to-play military vehicle combat game War Thunder. We talk a lot about military vehicles on this channel, but what about trying them out for yourself? In War Thunder, you can choose from more than 1,200 playable vehicles from the 1930s to the 1990s and go to battle on more than 80 theaters of war. You can fly aircraft, helicopters, drive tanks and command ships of all types and sizes, which have been carefully recreated from their real-world counterparts. It's available as a free download on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. So grab your friends and give it a try. All viewers of Defense Updates that register using the link in the description below will also get a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship and three days of premium account time as a bonus. Taiwan and China are at loggerheads. Their conflict can be traced back to 1949 at the end of the Civil War of China. The Nationalists were defeated whereas the Communists won. The Nationalists moved to Taiwan and set up their own government there. Communists set up the People's Republic of China. Both sides claim they represented the whole of China. China considers Taiwan as part of its territory and is willing to bring it back into its fold even if it requires force. In 1979, the United States normalized diplomatic relations with the Beijing government under the Communist Party of China. Since then, the relation between Taiwan and the United States became unofficial and informal and is governed by the Taiwan Relations Act. The Taiwan Relations Act is designed to maintain ambiguity and does not state if the USA will or will not intervene militarily if the PRC attacks or invades Taiwan. Under the act, the U.S. is obligated to sell arms of a defensive character to Taiwan. But things have changed recently. Relations between the United States and Taiwan have moved to a more formal and official level with the passage of the Taiwan Travel Act by the U.S. Congress on March 16, 2018. Though the relations still remains sub-diplomatic, most analysts consider this as a major upgrade. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo said in a statement that President Donald Trump has green-lighted the proposed sale after Congress was notified last week. Pompeo stated the F-16s are deeply consistent with the arrangements, the historical relationship between the United States and China. Our actions are consistent with past U.S. policy. We are simply following through on the commitments we have made to all of the parties. The Defense Security Cooperation Agency, which oversees U.S. foreign military sales, stated that Taiwan's purchase of the F-16s will not alter the basic military balance in the region. The proposed sale will contribute to the recipient's capability to provide for the defense of its airspace, regional security, and interoperability with the United States. Taiwan President Tsai Ing-wen said the sale would help Taiwan build a new air force and boost its air defense capacity. In a post on Facebook, she said she was grateful for Washington's continuous support for Taiwan's national defense. On Monday, China's foreign ministry spokesperson, Zheng Shuan, said U.S. arms sales to Taiwan severely violate agreements between Washington and Beijing and constitute severe interference in China's internal affairs. He added the United States should immediately cancel the planned arms sales and stop selling weapons and military contact with Taiwan, otherwise the U.S. will have to bear all the consequences.
The F-16 is a single-engine supersonic multi-role fighter aircraft originally developed by General Dynamics, which is now Lockheed Martin, for the United States Air Force. It was primarily designed to be an air superiority day fighter but has evolved into a successful all-weather multi-role aircraft. Over 4,500 aircraft have been built since production started in 1976. The U.S. Air Force no longer buys it but it is still being built for exporting and there is still a good demand for the fighter. It has a maximum speed of Mach 2 and a combat radius of 340 miles or 550 kilometers. The fighter can be armed with a wide range of air-to-air, air-to-ground and anti-ship weapons. For air-to-air -air combat, it can carry AIM-7 Sparrow, AIM-9 Sidewinder, AIM-120 AMRAAM, IRIS-T, Python-4 and Python-5. For air-to-ground attack, it can deploy several types of smart bombs and missiles like AGM-65 Maverick, AGM-88 Harm and AGM-158 Joint Air-to-Surface Standoff Missile JASSM. For anti-ship role, it can be equipped with AGM-84 Harpoon and AGM-119 Penguin. The F-16 has seen many upgrades over the years. The latest variant has the Northrop Grumman AN-APG-83 Scalable Agile Beam Radar SABR, Multifunction Active Electronically Scanned Array AESA, radar, which is much more capable. Another aspect is that the variant will have Center Pedestal Display CPD, which will enhance the situational awareness to a considerable extent. As per Lockheed Martin, it provides critical tactical imagery to pilots on a high-resolution 6 by 8 inch screen. The high-resolution display allows pilots to take full advantage of AESA and targeting pod data. The new CPD enables color moving maps, larger and easier to manage air to air situation displays, zoom functionality with the ability to switch information among displays, and a digital display of flight instrument data. The CPD is also compatible with the night vision imaging system. The addition of these has made the F 16 a very potent platform even against more recently developed fighters. China has seen a high level of economic growth and with that fund, it has made a lot of progress in military hardware. China spends more than 20 times on defense when compared to Taiwan. It has filled its coastlines with missiles that can strike Taiwan's military assets. Sales of F-16s could, to an extent, restore balance. F-16 is one of the most successful fighter jets in history. The Block 70 variant of the F-16 provided by the U.S. will be a challenge for any Chinese fighter, including their best fighter, the Chengdu J-20. Reports have emerged that a Sukhoi Su-30 MKI of the Indian Air Force managed to detect the Chinese Chengdu J-20 jet fighter. The disclosure didn't come from an independent analyst but from an official source. Indian Air Force Commander Arup Shah said, The Sukhoi's radar can see them. The new Chinese jets are not so invisible after all. No special technology is required to detect the J-20 as it can be detected by ordinary radar stations. This has ignited debates that the J-20 is nothing more than a decorated 4 plus generation fighter and China doesn't have a truly stealth fighter. Since Taiwan already operates F-16s and it will be relatively easy for it to set up required infrastructure and pilot training for the new ones, 66 is a decent number. The new fleet will be a significant force and will certainly be a cause for concern for Chinese military planners. In the larger context, the sales decision clearly indicates the U.S. is committed to fulfilling the needs of Taiwan when it comes to military tech. At the political level also, the U.S.-Taiwan relation has seen greater warmth in recent times, which includes sending warships in Taiwan Strait and accommodating Taiwanese President Tsai Ing-wen's stopover in Hawaii. At a juncture when the trade war between the U.S. and China is heating up, this sales deal will certainly open a new front. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this.
hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.